Following on from last week's video, we have another piano and a photograph in an old castle. And the central room has this stunning piano in the center of it. It's an arty kind of shot that I've wanted for quite some time. And uh, I've gone out of my way on my recce of Romania to come and take it in. Now I've been doing a little bit of a uh, framing up, nailing the framing and getting that piano in a good position, but also making sure that my camera is positioned perfectly because there is some issues in here and I want to talk about that in this week's video. If you haven't seen last week's video, check it out. Uh, it was a bit of a rushed video. I had like a few hours to spare before it needed to be uploaded and I was working till late at night with a fat headache, trying to get it up and uh, uploaded for you guys. And it was all about kind of going to a scene and actually working the space. And that's pretty much what I'm doing this morning, but in a different context, because what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to frame up, get brilliant framing of this natural subject that sits in the middle of the room, another grand piano. Now, there's some amazing elements in here. There's some gold touches above the window. There's the arches, there's the windows themselves, but more importantly than all of that, there's the lighting. Now the lighting, to be honest with you, is fantastic. It's all soft, it's due to snow heavily tonight, and you can tell. So my job as an architecture photographer is primarily to get mostly correct in camera. Now, I say mostly because there's always an element that you've got to visualize your final result with architecture and do a little bit of post work. If you're not prepared to do that, I think in architecture photography, it's very difficult to actually obtain your final results. The scene in front of me is fantastic. And the first thing that we wanna be doing is assessing this scene, going through it and looking at it and thinking about what it is that I wanna capture. Now, lighting is always difficult and I've talked about that many times on the channel before. I've come here in the middle of winter, it's kind of due to snow tonight so it's overcast outside, quite dark and moody but it's leading to nice soft light inside this. So this should be a really easy shoot for us. It'll all be about slowing down, framing up and getting those settings locked in in camera. What I want to be doing is I want to make sure that in frame I've got all of the details that I want, all of the parts of the framing that I need. So for example, above these large arches on the right here, there is actually some arch detail. For some reason on this side, it's disappeared. Uh, I actually quite like that, so I'm gonna keep it in. The annoying thing about this place though is the, the chandelier that's hanging in the center is not in the middle. It's also pretty high. The next thing we wanna be looking at is we wanna be talking really about that piano. It's incredibly heavy. But the problem is because that chandelier is kind of where it's positioned in my top of my frame and it's kind of in the way, what I want to be doing is I want to be able to maybe move that piano about. So the first thing we're going to be doing before we touch our camera and any settings is making the scene as, as we want. So I'm going to try my best to shuffle that piano a tiny bit. Tiny bit, give it a little bit more because. Okay, that actually made a huge difference. You might not think it, but what I'm trying to do is position myself a little bit further forward to enable me to be a little bit more underneath that chandelier and still get the same shot. And that's exactly what I'm doing. Just by pushing that piano back a tiny bit, it's enabled me to step a little bit further forward, still have it in the bottom of my frame, be underneath the chandelier a little bit more and still capture the same shot. And that's basically what I'm doing here. Um, the next thing I wanna be doing is I wanna be able to then talk about getting everything framed up nicely in here, in the camera, and locking in some settings. I'm using the windows in the center with my grid lines and the two doorways left and right on the edge of my frame to be able to line this shot up. It's a one point perspective. Now you might say to me, well, not really, it's just straight. Well, yeah, and the reason why it's a one point perspective is because all of the lines in the top of the building, the top portion, point down to the floor and all of the floor, the sort of lines in the, the parquet flooring point at the piano. The, backs, the back windows are all pointing down at the piano 
and your focal point is the piano with the back drop or the back setting of the gold and the windows and the actual castle kind of walls, if you will. And to be honest with you, once I've done that, you only really need a bracket in here because the light is just perfect. So with that, I can actually lock down like really good settings. ISO 200, my F8 as usual, of course, using the sharpest point on this lens. And to be honest with you, my shutter speed then is half a second, which is perfect. Of course, we've got kind of parquet flooring here. And I don't want wobble. So there we go. That's like our settings locked down. And I'm focusing on that piano. So you can see here what I was talking about, the little gold coving. Beautiful, looking really nice. But over this side, for some reason, it's either fallen off or been stolen. So I'm using the grid lines here to position the center of the frame through the middle to line everything up nicely. The piano's in the bottom section of the shot. Moving it has enabled me to move my tripod a little bit further forwards this way. And, of course, my circle window is at the top. And when I said to you about my settings, well, there they are, it's ISO 200 F8. And that's really nice because ISO 200 has just lifted my shutter speed just enough to be able to get this in one shot. You don't need three brackets, but I'm doing three brackets. I want to photograph that one like so. And we look at those. We can see that our first one, our middle exposure, is looking like that. I love it. Okay, so I'm about to offend some of you, but only some of you. That's right, this is my fine art version of the same image. I've actually flipped the door and the coving. You can see where. On the right hand side, I didn't particularly like the fact there was only one yellow door. So I actually flipped it from the left and popped it onto the right. And the same again for the coving top left. There wasn't any, it had been stolen, remember? So I decided to flip it from the right and pop it onto the image. Now, who have I offended? Probably the people that are new to the channel. For those that know me know that I'm a fine art photographer of architecture, and this is personal work. There are no rules. And ultimately, for me, it's about creating the best image, the best work possible from one particular scene, with giving myself then a better chance of selling that work to the art buyer. In this case, I've slowed down, I've thought about the edit, and I've applied kind of like some tricks to it. And also, of course, my own colour grade. So after a little bit of messing around, I decided to get a couple more shots. I originally went off to the left and the right, but I ultimately settled on a couple of other one point perspectives. Here they are. Which one do you like? Let me know in the comments below. Okay everyone, hope you've enjoyed this week's video. It's been a little bit different to photograph some pianos in such locations, it's been really nice. Uh, if you've got any questions, leave them below. If you've got any comments, feel free to give us some feedback. Until next time, 
I'm driving now all the way into Romania. So next time you see me, I'll be deep in the heart of the medieval territory of Romania. Until then, bye-bye for now.